This is an old, broken microwave oven. It's no longer able to cook any food, and therefore most people would just get rid of it and buy a new one. But that's not a great idea, because old microwave ovens contain a lot of very cool components that can be reused. One of those components is the microwave oven transformer. A step-up transformer that's capable of transforming 240 volts AC from a power outlet into about 2000 volts AC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract this transformer from the microwave oven and use it to create your very own 2000 volt power supply. For this project, you'll need an old microwave oven, a piece of wood, and a power cord. You could use the power cord from the microwave itself. Also, you'll need some 3mm bolts and nuts. Start off by taking out all of the screws, after which you can take off the entire top panel of the microwave. Now that we've opened it up, we can take a look at all the cool stuff inside. Down here there is a high voltage capacitor, and this is the magnetron, which is the device that generates microwaves. Don't worry, when the oven is turned off, the magnetron doesn't produce any radiation. Then down here we've got the microwave oven transformer, so now let's remove it. In order to remove the transformer, we first need to disconnect it from the other components. Before we disconnect the wires that are connected to the capacitor, however, make sure the capacitor is discharged by shorting it using a piece of wire. Don't touch any of the capacitor's contacts until you know for sure that it's discharged, otherwise you might get shocked pretty badly. Next, we can simply undo all of the screws that hold the transformer in position. Now we can safely remove the transformer. As you can see, I actually forgot to disconnect some wires right there. There are some other wires sticking out of the transformer that we won't need, so we can just cut them off. Then we can take the piece of wood and put the transformer right on top of it. As you can see, the piece of wood is a little bit too big, so let's just make it a little smaller. Now we put the transformer onto the piece of wood again and mark where the 3.5mm holes are going to be. After which we drill the holes. Now we can use the 3mm bolts and nuts to attach the transformer to the piece of wood. Now that the transformer is attached to a piece of wood, we can start wiring it up. These are the input wires, the wires that we are going to apply 240 volts to. First strip off the ends and then connect them to a power plug. Now that we've connected our power plug, we can focus on the high voltage part of the transformer. One of the high voltage leads is this red wire, and the other high voltage lead is connected internally to the core of the transformer. So the red wire is the first lead and the big block of metal is the second lead. The voltage between those leads will be about 2000 volts when the transformer is turned on, so be careful. For testing the power supply, I took some safety measures. I used extension cords and a PVC pipe so that I can stay far away from the power supply when it's turned on. And this is the final result. This thing can produce some pretty nice electric arcs. 
can see that they are in fact hot enough to melt the wire that I'm using. So there you go. Now you know how to make a high voltage power supply from an old microwave. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.